All right, here's just a really quick video. I think possibly I've got some notion of what's going on here, although still not 100% sure, but at least this allows me to show you what I was talking about. So I've got my Mac laptop. So originally I came from being pretty much exclusively on Mac and using the Mac version of Photolab. Recently I switched over to a Windows computer and I've been using Windows Photolab. And for some reason, which will never be known to anyone, the applications are slightly different. There are just small differences between them. And I think possibly this is one of those differences, although, mind you, this is also, I have not done the update. So it could be an update thing, but my, my strong guess now is actually that it's a Mac versus Windows thing. Um, so if I take a look at, uh, so I'll just move this thing out of the way. If I take a look at this image and I take a look at my HSL, um, you know, if, if, so first of all, if I'm in just this plain, um, you know, all colors selected, so to speak, um, I can't get at my eye dropper, which I'm pretty sure I could when I was doing the one yesterday in windows. Um, and then the other thing is, so if I come over here and I choose this blue and then I grab my eye dropper, and then I come over here and oh, I've obviously just turned off my eyedropper. There we go. It's my favorite trick. <laughs> and um, I click on that skin. Now, do you notice that it's turned my blue one to another red one? So it's got some it's got some variability there. So I actually could pick the different um, color in the first instance and then pick from it. And then, like I was saying. If you want, you know, maybe I, I narrow those colors down a little bit. And again, for time's sake, I'm not going to do this. But maybe I also want, I want to do a slightly different treatment to the hand. Um, so maybe I want to pick those colors separately. So I could grab even this blue one. And I've still got my picker. I won't do that trick again. And I come over here and I click on the hand. And it's kind of picked some slightly more orangey tones. So I can manipulate those separate. But it's taken over. Um, those color channels that were there. So that is at the root of why I have the habit of always clicking the color channel that I want to um, work with first off. So I guess two things there. One, when I come into it and it's just on this space, well, I just can't get at my picker. Um, but then beyond that, it allows me to pick those colors like that. So there we have it. It's at least a partial solution. Um, I will update the software after this, and if there's something different after I've updated the software to the most current version right now, what are we on? Let's see about DxO. We are on 5.3.0 build 67. Um, I've actually not paid attention to what what the current one is, but I know when I when I came in, it did pop up. A, there's an update available. Would you like to do it? Um, to which I said, remind me later. So. There we have it. I'll call that that, and I'll say goodbye. Um, hope that's interesting. See you later. Bye-bye.